Good afternoon. My name is Jared Beck. I'm an attorney with the law firm of Beck and Lee in Miami, Florida. And today I wanted to make this video to announce the filing by our firm of a class action lawsuit on behalf of individuals who donated to the Bernie Sanders campaign as well as the DNC against uh, two defendants, uh, the Democratic National Committee and its chairperson, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And this is the complaint right here. Uh, before I discuss the complaint in a little more detail, I did want to thank everyone who was uh, involved in the preparation of this lawsuit over the past few days. It was a tremendous undertaking uh, done on a very compressed time frame. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to thank the many thousands of individuals across the country who contacted our law firm, whether uh, by email, over the phone, social media, uh, giving us our support and indicating that they uh, want to be part of the lawsuit. Um, this case is about you, and uh, as uh, attorneys for the proposed class, we intend to do our best uh, to represent uh, everyone in the proposed classes to the best of our ability. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, other members of our legal team, including uh, my wife and law partner, Elizabeth Lee Beck, uh, my colleague, Colin O'Brien, uh, as well as my colleague, uh, Antonio Hernandez, who assisted with the preparation of the lawsuit. Um, the case was filed in the Southern District of Florida Federal Court, uh, and um, there are uh, a total of 121 uh, named plaintiffs um, in the lawsuit, uh, which is just a small fraction of the actual number of people who have signed retainer agreements with our firm. Uh, we decided that in the interest of time and given that um, uh, given the, the time frame presented by uh, the upcoming Democratic National Convention that was important to get this lawsuit on file. However, I did want to tell everyone, uh, please, um, if you're interested in participating in this lawsuit or uh, finding out how you can serve as a class representative, by all means, keep contacting our firm, uh, send us an email, or contact us through the uh, Facebook page that we've established, and we'll try to get that information to you as soon as possible. Um, there's still time to participate. Um, this is just the first complaint um, that's been filed with the court to officially start the lawsuit. Uh, the case, um, and I'll just summarize the legal complaint, uh, the legal claims in the case. Um, if you want to review the complaint in depth, we'll provide a link to that uh, on our website and Facebook um, so that you can examine it at your leisure. But there are, um, essentially uh, seven uh, legal claims that uh, we are asserting in this lawsuit um, on actually six legal claims that we're asserting in this lawsuit on behalf of the proposed class members. The first is a claim for fraud against the DNC and Debbie Wasserman Schultz, which is based on uh, the um, revelation uh, through the uh, recent uh, uh, Guccifer 2.0 uh, uh, leaks of documents uh, purportedly taken from the DNC's own uh, computer networks, which show that uh, while the DNC always purported to be uh, neutral and even-handed and impartial with respect to the Democratic uh, nominating process, in fact, it was not neutral and impartial. And from the beginning, uh, it, it was devoting its considerable resources to one candidate and one candidate alone, that being Hillary Clinton, um, at the expense of other candidates, including Bernie Sanders, notably Bernie Sanders. Uh, the second claim is uh, for negligent misrepresentation, which is essentially um, substantially the same as the first claim. It's just a slightly different legal theory. Um, count three is a violation of Section 28 uh, dash 3904 of the D.C. District of Columbia Code, uh, which alleges that the Democratic National Committee and uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz engaged in uh, deceptive conduct uh, prohibited by the statute by um, 
uh, uh, falsely uh, stating that uh, the de that the DNC was being neutral and even-handed in the primary process when in fact it was not. Uh, count four is a claim for unjust enrichment against the DNC, uh, which uh, seeks a return of all donations made to the DNC by members of the proposed class on the theory that those uh, donations were fraudulently obtained uh, through false representations and omissions relating to uh, the conduct of the Democratic primary. Count five is a breach of fiduciary duty claim uh, on behalf of a proposed class of members of the Democratic Party, and the claim here is essentially that the Democratic Party breached its fiduciary Democratic National Committee breached its fiduciary duty of care to members of the party by failing to uh, run the Democratic primary in a fair and even manner as it is required to do under the charter and bylines that govern the DNC. And finally, count six is a claim for negligence, and this is a claim uh, also against the DNC on behalf of its donors um, relating to the failure to use reasonable care by the DNC in safeguarding the personal information of the donors. And of course, all that information, a lot of that information leaked out or apparently has leaked out by virtue of the Russian hackers as revealed to us by the uh, Guccifer II release of documents um, that occurred in recent days. Um, so, what, so a lot of questions have been coming in from people who are interested in the lawsuit or interested in, in, in signing up to be class representatives. Of course, you know, we can, it's hard to answer or it's hard to read thousands and thousands of emails as they come in and respond to all of them in depth. Uh, but I um, did want to respond to a couple of points that have been raised uh, and, um, and uh, uh, present um, a, uh, a few points of my own. Um, one question that uh, we keep getting is, what is the point of this lawsuit? What is the ultimate goal? Well, um, I think the best way to answer that question is to uh, say this. Um, this lawsuit is our effort as attorneys uh, to give a voice in the political system to all those who have been defrauded by the conduct of the DNC in um, supporting and promoting Hillary Clinton's candidacy in violation of its own charter that requires it to be neutral. And of course, those individuals are individuals that uh, gave an enormous amount of money to Bernie Sanders and his campaign um, in, uh, in terms of the class representatives that we have. Um, they range from, every, from everyone from lawyers and doctors who gave thousands of dollars and purchased billboard advertising uh, uh, to uh, uh, promote Bernie Sanders to uh, folks who've been telling us that they've been unemployed or even homeless, but they still scraped up money uh, to give to Bernie. So it's a very diverse uh, uh, class of people um, across the board that have been economically harmed by the conduct of the DNC. But um, I do want to stress this. Uh, this case is not about money. Uh, I don't think you can put a dollar figure on American democracy. And uh, at the end of the day, I truly believe that American democracy is what is at stake in this lawsuit. Uh, the conduct of the uh, Democratic Party or the DNC as it's set forth in this complaint is manifestly undemocratic. Um, we live in the United States of America. Uh, candidates are not supposed to be picked behind closed doors and uh, sold to the population through uh, manipulation and deceit. Uh, candidates are supposed to be voted into office by a democratic process. And um, it has become apparent to uh, me as an attorney uh, looking at uh, evidence that's coming out, uh, piecing together the facts, it's become clear to me that uh, this democratic process is in severe jeopardy and has been jeopardized by um, the DNC and um, its chair uh, through their conduct. And, and that's the conduct that we 
uh, allege in this complaint. So when you're talking about uh, the democratic process itself, that's not something you can put a dollar figure on. The goal of this complaint, um, the goal of this lawsuit is to uh, ultimately, we hope, uh, to get changes made or get the DNC to make changes to uh, its own conduct. And if that has to happen by court order, so be it. But we need the DNC to act in accordance with its charter in order to, um, quite frankly, give democracy a fighting chance in this country. That's my personal view, and that's what we will be striving for in this case. And ultimately, we hope to give a voice to all those uh, in the classes as defined by this complaint through this lawsuit. Um, that said, uh, there also have been questions uh, coming in about how this uh, lawsuit relates to uh, the political process itself. And obviously, we have a, a national convention coming up. We have um, a presidential election still going on. And folks want to know how this, uh, com this lawsuit will impact uh, the politics. Well, I can say this, you know, from my standpoint as a lawyer, um, this lawsuit is separate from the political process. Uh, and I would remind people that um, in terms of the political, uh, uh, the political fight that's still going on um, for the Democratic nomination, that fight's not over yet. Uh, Bernie Sanders has not conceded uh, the nomination to Hillary Clinton. Um, he has made it very clear that he is uh, going to the convention in Philadelphia and that he is going to uh, fight on behalf of all those uh, that uh, supported him in the primaries. And I, you know, may be uh, unduly optimistic on this, but I believe that at the end of the day, um, there is a strong chance that uh, Bernie Sanders will prevail uh, at the convention because I truly believe that the uh, superdelegates who have been tasked with uh, uh, selecting uh, the nominee in this case will ultimately make the what I think is the only uh, reasonable choice in this election and that they will select Bernie Sanders over Hillary Clinton. That said, um, I just wanted to put it out there that I think everybody watching this um, who is uh, uh, devoted their efforts, whether that's uh, volunteering or making contributions or just offering support to Bernie Sanders, don't give up. Um, don't, uh, don't believe that the fight is over um, because it's not. Um, I can tell you as a, uh, as a lawyer whose practice uh, primarily uh, depends on representing uh, the underdog against uh, uh, defendants that are uh, overwhelmingly powerful in terms of uh, resources uh, or whatnot. Um, I often found myself um, in the position of being uh, on the what appears to be the losing end of a struggle, but ultimately uh, prevailing at the end of the day. And I'm firmly confident that um, we can do that here if we all work together. So in terms of the political struggle that's still going on, I would urge everyone out there to do what they can to get the message out there, whether it's uh, writing to the superdelegates who are from your state, or um, if you can go to the con uh, Philadelphia during the convention, please go ahead and do that, or uh, just continue to be active um, on social media or in discussions with your uh, colleagues or your family or friends, and keep the support for Bernie Sanders alive because that's the best thing you can do uh, at this at this point in time to ensure that Sanders Bernie Sanders has a fighting chance to get the nomination uh, for uh, the Democrat from the Democratic Party. So in the meantime, uh, we'll be providing regular updates uh, as our lawsuit progresses. Uh, we'll pro be providing those on our website and over social media on our Facebook page. Um, we'll be providing documents as those documents become available, starting with the uh, the complaint itself, which we'll be putting up there uh, shortly. Um, if you have any questions uh, or uh, thoughts or observations or comments, don't hesitate to contact us. You can do that by email. You can do that uh, on Facebook, over Twitter. Um, we're obviously getting a lot of uh, uh, interest in traffic uh, and uh, communications re relating to this lawsuit, so we may not be able to respond to you right away, but 
Uh, we very much thank you for your patience and your support throughout this pro uh, process. And um, we hope that by all working together, uh, we can ultimately make a positive change to our uh, system of government and uh, uh, save uh, American democracy from um, some very uh, dark and concerning forces that are aligned against it uh, at this moment in time. Thank you very much for listening and uh, we'll be in touch.